Have you ever looked at a map and thought, wait, why is there no bridge between Long Island and Connecticut? It's not that far, right? So why do we have to go all the way to the city just to get across the sound? Today, we're diving into the history, the politics, and the real reason why there's no bridge across the Long Island Sound. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell on so you can stay up to date on the latest architectural projects and statistics. Let's start with the basics. Long Island and Connecticut are separated by the Long Island Sound. It's about 18 to 22 miles wide in most spots. There are ferries like the Port Chef Ferry and the one from Orient Point to New London. But driving? No. You have to go through the Bronx or Manhattan, which can be a total nightmare. Believe it or not, this idea isn't new. In the 1960s, the famous builder Robert Moses proposed a bridge from Rye, New York to Oyster Bay. He loved cars and hated delays. Classic Moses. More recently, there were serious proposals in the early 2000s, even as late as 2018, where Governor Cuomo pushed for a cross sound link again, either a bridge or a tunnel. But every time, the proposal shut down. Why? Let's go into that. Let's start with the 1960s. Governor Nelson Rockefeller backed a proposal for a bridge from Oyster Bay to Rye, but local opposition was fierce. Residents on both sides were worried about pollution, increased traffic, and destruction of neighborhoods. Environmentalists also stepped in. The Long Island Sound is federally protected in many areas. Building giant pylons and roads would have devastated coastal habitats. In 2008, a new idea came up, this time for a tunnel under the sound, but even that ran into problems. The cost, an estimated $55 billion, and again, nobody wanted the construction, the risk, or the price tag. Even in 2018, Governor Cuomo floated the idea again, but it was quickly shut down by public backlash and logistical nightmares, not to mention the federal government never really backed it with funding or support. So is a bridge or tunnel across the Long Island Sound completely off the table? Not exactly. Some engineers and urban planners still believe a tunnel could work, especially with new technologies like boring machines and more efficient construction methods. Other countries have tackled similar challenges if the political will and funding ever line up. New York and Connecticut could pull it off too. But for now, the costs are too high, the public isn't sold, and the environmental impact is just so great. So while it's not impossible, it's definitely not happening anytime soon. So next time you're riding on the ferry across the Long Island Sound, or staring at a map wondering why there's no bridge, now you know. It's a mix of money, politics, traffic, and protecting our environment. A bridge could change everything, but for now, Long Island stays an island. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts, and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into New York's biggest infrastructure mysteries. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.